education plays a critical role in shaping the society. Basic access to education is the greatest gift to young people, especially to those living in the rural areas. My name is Shiro Gunselio and welcome to the Diplomatic Encounter, a current affairs program that brings you diplomatic news, giving you a fresh perspective. The government of Japan has supported a commendable project of the water sanitation and hygiene in schools in Gokwe North Midlands province. The three-year project involved building of 10 classroom blocks, finishing them with furniture and construction of 7 by 30 litres rainwater harvesting tanks in the area where there were no schools or and where students used to learn under trees. The project was implemented by a non-governmental organization called ADRA Zimbabwe in cooperation with ADRA Japan and the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education. Mrs. Mushoshi said that the project by ADRA is so critical in the province. She highlighted that it is linking directly with the efforts made by government to make Zim Asset fulfill its objectives as the schools that are built by this faith-based organization is not limited only to the Adventist schools. Uh, ADRA stands for Adventist Development and Relief Agency. Basically, it means that it's an NGO that was founded by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And one of the interesting things, especially with this project for water and sanitation and education, where we are building schools and building toilet blocks for communities, this is not for the Seventh-day Adventist community, but this is purely for the community. All the five schools are not Adventist schools, but are community uh, education uh, schools. Uh, but the NGO was established to extend the hand of the church to the community. So with that, we engage with other governments. The way ADRA works is that ADRA Zimbabwe is a local NGO but with international networks. So you'll find that our working with ADRA Japan, it means it's part of our networks. ADRA Japan is a network although we are a local NGO. While the project was being carried out by ADRA staff, both from Zimbabwe and Japan said they were encouraged by the support they got from the community and its leaders. The community was crucial as it would provide assistance in the making of bricks, digging of foundations, just to mention a few tasks. We have, we have been doing this for two and a half years and we almost completed everything. And then we, we have been working with community leadership in the district very well closely so that I think that, that also contributed to this success and then of course as you know it's not easy to work in this um, and this circumstances because you know, as you know like it's really hot there is no much water and also there is not much financial resources so it's really difficult for the community also to work with us because you know they need sacrifice a lot but so they need to work or they need to contribute to us so it's really we understand it was very hard for them but uh, fortunately we could manage to get much support from the community the leadership in the district also from the government that was good, so thank you very much. Chief Chirea thanked the government of Zimbabwe for allowing developmental organizations such as ADRA to implement such great work in the education sector. He said it would go a long way in boosting the education quality in the district as students would no longer travel long distances to school. <laughs> Rumende do, do not tender a put my organization Akaita Sayoya Apinde. Noza Zizo Chinuchikuru Penyu we moon. Munogaziza and Munaslak Ziza, not one total different. Shoguti who aslak Ziza, sometime Anigasna Asna Chipo, Aswagaziza, sometime Ane Chipo Chaga in Chagawezi. So, you know, Kanavana, Ukazi, someone who knows what far, Kuti Wafunda, and the 
zvavari kuvaka like izvi zvavari kuita kuti mwana adzidzire panhu pa pakangoita pamhene imwe ye disadvantage ye kuti mwana anodzidza pasina board mwana anodzidza ari pasi but uh, ma organization akaita saiwoya ati patsira ati simudzira kuti vana vedu vakwanise ku kudzidza zvakanaka vagere mumuvhuri vagere zvakanaka ndino tenda zvikuru nehurumende kuita kwayo kutendera because ndai vasiri isiri hurumende ah vanga dai vakadzokera nekuti e, kuda kwavo nekuti ndivo vari kutonga but well vakati tendera kuti aiwa tinoida e, e, kaivake organization yoyo zvikoro it's like no moon jimbo mu gogwe north yava ka zvikoro zvakawandisa zvekuti hata tinotenda zvikuru tino tinozvikudza tinoshuvira panye masanda ichikuye banga sati apera Tonto <laughs> So I should put him. She put her out, she gave him some bread, some rice, and some But my neighbor was very happy. She put her on my pillow. We went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to the market. We bought some rice, some corn. So I just went to Today, Kadai second segment of the diplomatic encounter where today we're in Gokwe where the Japanese government completed a water sanitation and hygiene provision to schools. This has been a three-year program that was started in the year 2013 and was made possible by a grant of 175 million Japanese yen which is about 1.5 million US dollars from the Japanese government. Direct beneficiaries of this program exceeded 9,300 in the community. My name is Reverend Tedias Matienga. I'm the Deputy Provincial Education Director Midlands province. We are here at Chiwoza Secondary School where the ADRA Zimbabwe in conjunction with ADRA Japan uh, and represented by His Excellency the Ambassador to Japan are handing over a classroom block, two classroom blocks, uh, toilet facilities and um, we are also witnessing uh, washing facilities for children after they've finished uh, using the toilets. We um, have five of our schools that have received these five, uh, that have received these facilities. And this is very important for our ministry because um, school infrastructure 
these days more greater access to education by our children who are going to learn in a child-friendly environment. We also cherish the provision of the water tanks. This will enable the children to have access to clean water uh, for their consumption. And we are grateful to the Adra Zimbabwe for provision of these facilities. This has been a three-year program that was started in 2013 and was made possible by a grant of 175 million Japanese yen, which is about 1.5 million US dollars, from the Japanese government. Water, sanitation and hygienic practices are essential in schools. You're still watching The Diplomatic Encounter. Join us in the third segment. This is 
the third and final segment of the diplomatic encounter and right now we're going to witness the official handing over of the WASH project that was being implemented by ADRA Zimbabwe in conjunction with ADRA Japan and the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education. The Ministry of Primary and Education, which was represented by the District Education Officer, Mr. Chidakwa, applauded the Embassy of Japan and its partners for making a dream come true to the province where there are a few schools. He said, this will go a long way in improving access to education, water, sanitation and hygiene services to the school children. Uh, indeed, the Ministry feels highly privileged to be in partnership with ADRA and we also feel humbled by the support that ADRA has rendered to us as it is indeed helping us to realize our vision and mission as a ministry. ADRA has given us a shot in the arm by undertaking the project that we gather today to celebrate. We now have classroom blocks at Ganganga Secondary School, classroom blocks at Ganganga Primary School, classroom blocks at Nevana Primary School, as well as classroom blocks at Shiwoza Secondary School and New Mine Primary School. The Gokwe North Rural District Council said ADRA has been supporting them since 2009 when the district was struck by the cholera epidemic. The other support has been in the health and maternal fraternity, hence they have a strong relationship. I am grateful to ADRA who has supported this district since 2009. Various projects have been done in water and sanitation, maternal health projects and today we are gathered here to witness the handover of the state of 